latest news alert, an unprecedented moment in our nation's history as former President Donald Trump's mugshot is taken and made public. This is the first time an American president has been fingerprinted, booked, and released from prison on $200,000 bond. Trump is facing over 700 years in jail if convicted on all charges in four separate cases across the country. That is a staggering contrast to the way we see repeat criminals treated under liberal DAs in major cities. Well, let's go through them. In New York City, 886 felony arrests this year were declined by prosecutors. Across the country in Los Angeles, DA George Gascon's office has largely barred prosecutors from charging people accused of making criminal threats, resisting arrest, and trespassing, among other crimes. Up in Seattle, felony prison and jail sentences fell 47% in just five years. Jason Rance is the host of The Jason Rance Show and the author of the upcoming book, What is Killing America? He joins us now. Jason, how ridiculous do these liberal DAs look now? Going after a 77-year-old former president on political charges when people in their city, ordinary citizens, are being attacked, are being killed with no consequences to the criminal. Yeah, are, are they ridiculous or does this show how partisan they've been this entire time where they purposely choose not to go after certain kinds of criminals, certain crimes, pushing people into restorative justice programs where apparently, I guess for Donald Trump, that doesn't matter. Th this is clearly vindictive. This is clearly driven by a political agenda. And I think it's going to blow up in their faces because I think you're right that folks are going to start paying attention to, wait a minute. Looking at Atlanta specifically, you've got a 71% increase in car theft. That seems like we should probably be going after that because that impacts people every day in their lives. Whereas Donald Trump choosing to engage in speech that they're now trying to criminalize, I think it's going to blow up. Yeah, and you just have to wonder what that mugshot will do to the presidential election. I mean, clearly the president thinks it will benefit him because he released it on his on his Twitter account. Um, Jason, mm -hmm. we also want to ask you about this. What do you think about Seattle hiring unarmed crisis responders to respond to certain 911 calls? So the plan is to have um, mental health professionals respond to certain situations but then have police officers somewhere nearby. So the unarmed person is answering the door, the first to go in, but a cop will be standing somewhere in the vicinity. What do you make of this? Yeah, and that's not even going to be the case in all of these calls. They might just be generally aware. It is a horrible idea. It's a good idea to put social workers or any mental health professional embedded with police on certain calls. But when you're sending them to some of these calls where you are relying on whomever is calling 911 yeah. to be accurate in explaining the actual threat. And let me tell you something. There was a case with a deputy named Deputy Herzog some years ago, and he was called to a naked guy who was running in and out of the street causing problems with traffic. He gets there, the naked guy attacks him, steals his firearm, shoots him 11 times, and kills him. So we're sending the social workers potentially to be seriously injured and or killed. Staying in your city, a Seattle Times columnist partially blaming colonization for the Hawaii wildfires. We're up against it here, about to hit Fox and Friends, so I'm just going to ask you the question here. When hundreds of people are still missing, isn't an article focusing on colonization pretty just grotesque? It's disgusting in every way, shape, and form. While the rest of us are focused on those thousand plus people, she's focused on making some really pathetic political point that is tired and hackneyed, and we're just sick of it. And yet they're gonna continue to do it because I'm sure she thinks she's brave for bringing up a point about colonization. Brave was the individuals who went to go save people in those horrific fires, mm -hmm. still doing point. the work today. Yep. Jason Rance, have Thank a great you, weekend. We appreciate your time. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest and